Hi everybody, my name is Karina and today I'm going to be talking about the benefits of ashwagandha. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So ashwagandha aka Indian ginseng is an Ayurvedic herb and it's used in Ayurvedic medicine. So in Sanskrit, ashwagandha actually roughly translates into the smell of the horse which I don't know what that's supposed to mean um, in terms of the herb but another translation is the smell and the strength of a horse um, which I guess that one the strength part kind of makes a little bit sense because ashwagandha is such a powerful herb it is an adaptogen and adaptogens are great for stress relief and any type of anxiety depression that you may be feeling and it is widely used in Ayurveda. So one of the questions that I've always had about ashwagandha is why is it considered an anti-inflammatory when it is a nightshade? Because if you are familiar with nightshades, they are very inflammatory and ashwagandha is a nightshade. Um, and I asked an Ayurvedic practitioner, a very well-known Ayurvedic practitioner earlier this year, and he said because of its adaptogenic properties it kind of counterbalances the inflammatory part so it really helps with inflammation rather than um cause more or disrupt any other inflammation that you may have so it's very beneficial um so that kind of made sense i guess i kind of figured it had to do with the adaptogen side of it but it still didn't really make sense to me but now that i think about it i guess it kind of makes sense in that standpoint because no other um, nightshade is in adaptogen. So getting into some of the benefits, it obviously is an anti-inflammatory like I mentioned, so it really helps with any type of inflammation or inflammatory diseases, illnesses that you may be having. Because of its adaptogenic properties, it does help with stress, anxiety, or any type of internal stress that your body is suffering from. It's great for the sex drive. <laughs> and in Latin, ashwagandha is actually known as Withinia somnifera, I think that I'm pretty Pronouncing that right I have no idea my Latin is not on point so sorry and it is also great for sleep so if you have difficulty sleeping and also it's really good for reducing depression or any type of depression symptoms it is an Ayurvedic herb like I mentioned numerous times and it is native to India the Middle East and some parts of Africa it boosts your energy and concentration it has anti-cancer properties and it also reduces high blood sugar levels it reduces cortisol levels which is the stress hormone so again great for stress relief it improves brain function and especially memory so it might be good for people that have ADHD or ADD as well. It supports the endocrine system, the nervous system, the cardiovascular system, and the immune system. And it promotes a balance within those systems as well, those bodily systems. And also it is a great hormone balance for women. So a lot of women these days have very bad imbalances when it comes to their hormones. There's just so many things that we are exposed to nowadays and anything and everything that we take the environment and just general stress and lifestyle that we live and they just need a little bit more attention and love so that is some of the benefits of ashwagandha and now i'm going to go into how i take it and what i take and what i do with it so currently i am taking the organic india ashwagandha supplement this is non-gmo organic and it says healthy stress response and it is 100 milligrams there is 90 um, veg caps in here so this is vegan if anyone is wondering this is what it looks like i love organic india brand um they have a great supplement line as well as amazing teas um so on here it says that you're supposed to take two capsules. If you watch any of my videos, you know I never follow directions, um, but do as you're advised. 
um, or what you feel is best for you. I only take one capsule and I take it either in the morning or at night. So it really just depends on the day. I just assess the day if I'm really stressed out in the morning or if I'm really stressed out at night. I take it to just sort of unwind. And I will read the description on the bottle. It says, Ashwagandha is a powerful adaptogenic herb used for centuries as a natural source of energy and vitality. And this is vegan, gluten-free, and vegetarian, of course, because if it's vegan, then obviously it's vegetarian. So yeah, this stuff is amazing. It's a miracle worker. For years, I stayed away from it because I thought that it was very inflammatory, like I said, because I thought it was a nightshade, but I got that confusion cleared up, and so I wanted to share that with you. I don't know if any of you have ever had that question or thought come across, but I've been wondering for years, and I've done a whole bunch of research on it, and I never came to a conclusion. So then I just decided I should just stay away from it because I don't really eat nightshades or stay away from nightshades as much as possible. Nowadays, I used to stay away from, let me rephrase that, I used to stay away from nightshades as much as possible. Nowadays, there's just a very select few that I stay away from. It's, it's just the elimination diet. <laughs> but anyways, I'm a lot better now so I can incorporate... Um, more nightshades into my diet I just have to be very very careful and be um, what's the word I'm looking for selective no cautious no aware yes um, moderate yes but it's on the tip of my tongue I guess moderation, yeah. Everything in moderation. That is what I'm trying to say. Okay, that was very long. So I highly recommend ashwagandha. Look into it, do your own research, talk to your um, Ayurvedic practitioner or your holistic practitioner about it and see what they say. And go reduce some stress in your life. So that is my little spiel on ashwagandha. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, turn on post notifications. And other than that, hope you have a fantastic day. Health and peace.